All right, we're gonna learn how to name some alcohols right now. And when you're naming an alcohol, that's anything with an OH group. Those are, as a substituent, would be called a hydroxy group. Um, but if it's the main functional group, if it's a functional group with priority, we call it alcohol. And then the name for an alcohol is always gonna end in an OL. So alcohol, OL. So you'll hear names like propanol, pentanol, hexanol, etc. Things like that. So, uh, in this case, I've got a couple alcohols here. And if you need to find uh, examples of what functional groups keep priority, check your OCHEM book. You can also check things like Wikipedia for the IUPAC order of priority. Um, but OH has pretty good priority. And uh, if you see it in a ring uh, or in a chain, it's gonna take, it's gonna cause that chain to be the main chain. And uh, you're gonna put the one position closest to the alcohol uh, whenever you can. This is really gonna be true about any functional group that you have that has that priority. So let's try this one. The main chain is one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? But we want to put the one closest to the side of the alcohol. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is going to be a hexanol, and then again with the OL. And it will be specifically a one hexanol. And then you see there's a methyl group right here on the fourth position. So we'll call this a four methyl one hexanol. I change it up slightly here at the one at the bottom. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six. The OH is on that side. Again, we want to have it on the main chain. So since it's on this side, we want to put the one closest to that side. You don't need the one on the place where the OH is, but you need it closest to the side with the OH. So this is also hexanol, but this will be a two hexanol. And again, the methyl's on the four position, so it's a four methyl, two hexanol. Okay, so there's those. Uh, they can get a little bit more complicated, so let me get over here. You can have more than two OH groups on the alcohol. Here's a really simple one. Uh, That's a pretty simple one. Two OHs on either side. And we have one, two, three. Well, regardless of which side you put the one on, it's uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be, it's not gonna get any closer to any other OH. By the way, a common mistake people make here is to say that these are carbons. They're not. The carbons are here. This is just a bond to an oxygen. So also, this is not a carbon. And this is not a carbon. Sometimes people would say, for example, on this one, there would be seven carbons, so that's a heptanol. It's only hexanol. This one's going to be a propanol, but there's two alcohols, so what we do is we go a pro diol. This di means that there's two alcohols. You can put a tri here if there's three OH groups, uh, and you get the picture. So, uh, you also need to show where the OH groups are, so they're on the 1 and 3 position. There's another way you can do this. You could also say uh, this is propen uh, 1, 3 dial. So you can, can put the numbers in the middle of the name right before the suffix is coming. Uh, in general, it doesn't make a big difference. I would do whatever your instructor wants you to do. However, uh, sometimes you have to do this. Let me see if I have an example here where you would have to do this. Let's say you had something like this. Uh, let me make it kind of nasty for us. Let's say we have that. <laughs> okay, you're like, look at that. This is crazy. Uh, let's count the carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we want the one position to be closest to the alcohol. That takes precedence over the alkene or alkyne. Uh, so now, name this. This is going to be a pentanol. Uh, but remember, 
the problem is this adds something to the suffix, the y n e, because it's a this adds a suffix of y n e. This one here adds a suffix of e n e, and then this adds a suffix of the o l. So you've got three suffixes to deal with. That's where you do something like this. Let me get along with chalk and show you what I mean. And then in order, uh, the alcohol's listed last. Um, Double bonds are usually listed first as suffixes, and then the triple bonds would be in the middle. So this would be a pen, and there's no substituents here. There could be, but in this case, uh, there's no substituents. So this would be a pent something. We're going to go first uh, for the ene here, and the ene starts on the two position, so this is a two ene. The ein, the triple bond, starts on, let's see, that's the four position. So it's a four ein. And then the ol, the alcohol is on the one position. So dash one, dash ol. So it's pent two ein, four ein, uh, one all. Uh, if you have, let me just do one more example. Just so you can see it, if you have a cycloalkane, or really, uh, a, like a, a cyclohexane here and an OH substituent, and then you have some other substituents, let's say you have a CL and a BR, something like that. How would you name uh, this? This is a little bit different. Here you have to remember you have a cyclohexanol. Uh, this OH takes precedence over these groups, so we call this a cyclo, hex, and all, like that. We've also got, let me list some of the substituents we've got. We've got a chloro, oops, chloro, and we've got a bromo. Chloro and a bromo. Uh, we want the one, we'll always go with the alcohol. So if you have a ring, Alcohol is going to be on the one position, especially if there's only one OH and there's no other functional groups that take priority. Then you want everything with the lowest numbering, so you're going to number towards the substituents, the other ones. So we'll have a 2 chloral, it'll be a 3 bromo, and uh, it'll be a 1 cyclohexanol. So we want to put all this together in alphabetical order, not numerical order. So it'll be 3 bromo, it'll be uh, dash 2 dash chloro, and dash 1 dash cyclo hexanol. You'll see when you'll have other groups with more priority than the alcohol, uh, sometimes they'll name this, any of the OHs, as a substituent. If you ever have to name the OH as a substituent, uh, and we have another advanced naming, other advanced naming yet, so I'll just tell you. The OH as uh, a substituent would be a hydroxy. So for example, a one hydroxy group or a five hydroxy, whatever position on the ring or chain that would be. And when we get advanced uh, examples, you will see how to do that.